Right then guys, how you doing and welcome back to the channel. I hope you've all had a good weekend and uh, you've pre-ordered all your Slaneshi goodness because we've got some new information about what's coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, I say couple of weeks because we've got the Slaneshi stuff that's going to come out this week and then hopefully within about two weeks time this stuff will be on release the way GW have presented it. I am of course referring to the Loon Curse box, which we knew was coming and I didn't realise it was going to be following the heels of um, the last box, the, uh, and the, what was it, it was the, uh, the Carrion Empire box if, I, if I'm right, because um, yeah that, that's literally come and gone and we've uh, had new releases for the Flesh Eater Court and uh, Skaver and now the box is now decommissioned by the look of it it's uh, no longer available but we've got a new box set to look forward to so if I can spare a couple of minutes of your time we're gonna go over it and have a look what is gonna come in the box right then guys here's the box in all its glory as you can see it's jammed packed with AOS goodies we've got tokens we've got a core book we've got a, a we've got actual box rules as well for the Loom Curse game itself which we all know is the Gloom Spike Gits versus the Silver Death so information they've brought out is the it's taking place in is it Aida, I think it is, which is within the realm of metal, so it's foreign to both teams. It's their own little green part of it, and it's the gloom spike gets are trying to bring the Everdank to the world or to the realm, I should say. So, in this box set, we have got on the gloom spike get side, we've got 10 cave squigs and two squig herders and five Boingrot Bounders so it's a very fast moving uh, army and five Squig Hoppers so very Squig heavy so if you're looking to have a, a Squigathon a squig what do you call it? Squigalanche if you bought it from GW this is probably the easiest way of doing it because you get a lot of Squigs and you're probably going to get it for half the price because I'm guessing this box is going to come in at like anywhere between 95 and 110 pounds so I'm guessing I don't know 105 and you got two armies for that price so that's the gloom spite Sylvaneth they got 10 tree revenants and three colonel hunters which doesn't sound like a lot but if I look over uh, Cardian Empire didn't seem a lot coming out of the Skaven side of it when you had like the storm fiends and you had the the weapons so it could be balanced out um mechanic wise or just you like the price of the unit separately but it's a very good starter box for the two of them so it's you could probably if i add this up you could have the 10 revenant and the colonel of hunters free if you pay for just the price of or what's coming to the gloom spite side so that's, that's fantastic saving yet again well then GW on this one I can't wait to be to be able to get this I'm hoping with you guys help we should be able to pick it up on the channel but that's if you guys want to see it I'm not I'm there and there I will be picking this up myself but we got um, war scrolls as well so if you wanted to use this as a starting point you've got them before you pick up the uh, battle tome but if personal opinion I reckon you should pick up the app and pick up the battle tomes from there because that's always going to get updated so you don't have to have like printouts with you all the time and more importantly what makes a GW box set a GW box set is new models and the new models are the HQ units so 
let's have a quick look at them. Right then guys, first up on the bat we've got a Loom Boss on Giant Cave Squig. He is looking ferocious as he's thundering towards you. Granted, beginning of the year we had a Gloom Spike release. Could have been brought out with that, but they needed something special for the box. I can understand that. It just fe it feels like if this was a computer game, this was unnecessary DLC. This is like paying for an extra level. But that's neither, no, no, neither here nor there. If you're a Gloom Spike fanatic, you are going to pick this up anyway, ju just to get extra squigs on this model. He is a phenomenal looking model. It is so much dynamic pausing in this because it just looks like it's charging into battle. And I think you're going to get a choice of weapons that he's going to come with. So you can't fault that. It's Like I said, it's a fantastic model and it's your centerpiece as well. And it does look and scream centerpiece model. So I can't wait to see how people paint this up for their tabletop games. And now for the Sylvaneth side, you have got a brand new model, which is going to be called the Ark Revenant. So, it's a very regal looking model. As you can see, he's got wings, so not only is he a tree man, he's a flying tree man. So you've got to be careful. It could be barking up the wrong tree, but he's looking phenomenal. And yeah i realized what realized that was a very very bad pun and i do apologize and not only that he's got his spear and he's also got a shield so he's going to be very protected as well and as you can see he's looking at he looks like he's looking out over the battlefield so again a very beautifully dynamic pose on a fantastic centerpiece model for the sylvaneth but I don't want to read too much into this, but I'm kind of hoping we are going to get the Flesh Eater Coat Skaven treatment on this one. Mostly Flesh Eater Coats, because this could possibly lead to a re-release for Sylvaneth, like a brand new battle tome to bring out, like they done, Corn and Flesh Eater Coat. So, like, like we've said before, both both armies had battle tomes, but they were done in the previous Age of Sigma, which was like two, which was Sigma one. Now we're in two point oh because we now got endless spells and everything else. And perhaps this is their way of updating the army, releasing a new model or two, and then you know bringing it in line with what's happening at the present. So we might see them down the line new endless spells we might see updates to the scenery rules and it might just be points changes galore so i can't wait to see what they do with the silver net side it'd be a big shame if they don't do anything with it after releasing this box set so do you agree with me do you think this is going to be leading into a silver net release or do you think it's just going to be it's a box set because they need a new one to get ready for the summer let me know in the comments below are you looking forward to this are you not bothered again there is a comment section for a reason and just like i said yeah just let's have a chat about it and that's the end of the video guys it was a short one today because we haven't got a lot of information to go off but we're going to go back over what we've been saying it's a We've got the new box set that's coming out. GW have said it's going to be in the next two weeks, but it might be a little bit longer depending on the column. It's Sylvaneth versus the Gloom Swipe Gates. It's based in the realm of metal, so nobody's got the advantage, really. Um, you're trying to prevent the Gloom Swipe Gates from spreading the Everdank, which is a cool concept, and who better than the Sylvaneth army to stop them? We've got two brand new HQs in there it's the is the lo loon boss on the cave squig which we already had rules for but we got a brand new model for and we've got the Sylvaneth Arc Regent which it, they're both fantastic looking models and as usual it's probably going to be a saving I'm guessing it's a 105 pound box but I still think it's going to be a saving if you 
even if you're just interested in one side. We're going to have tokens, we're going to have battles, battle scrolls, war scrolls, and there's going to be a campaign box, a uh, book. So, yeah. Another prediction, because I've done two predictions so far, is going to be um, leading into a Sylvanet update. So we're going to get a new battle tome and possibly update on rules and probably make them more accessible. Because a few people I know that have played Sylvanet reckon it's a little bit hard to manoeuvre, but it could just be their playstyle. So, are you guys looking forward to this? Do you agree with me this is going to lead into something different for Sylvanet? Is it going to be an update or is it just going to be a box out ready for the summer? The comment section is yours for you to say. And well, it wouldn't be the end of a YouTube video unless you heard my pathetic attempts at, ch at chilling. See, I'm even stumbling over my words. I'm probably a little bit too excited about the eighth cup of tea I've had and the fact that we've got a new box set on the way. So anyway, like I was saying, we've got um, that box set to look forward to. But it's the shilling part, so I'm, I'm not going to go back over what we just said. It's the shilling. So we got PayPal account, links in the bottom. We've got Teespring account, so if you go over to Teespring and you search Noob with the Brush, you should be able to find us. Uh, at the moment, because I got less than a thousand subscribers, they won't allow me to link it to the YouTube cha channel, so it's a little bit more awkward, but you know, that's, that's the name of the game, isn't it, at the end of the day? We're not here for subscribers, we're here to share the information around the community and, you know, actually enjoy talking to each other. So, I'm really sorry, you're going to have to put that extra legwork if you want your new boy. If you don't don't want new boy and you don't want to subscribe, just share the video amongst your friends and that would be fantastic. And, hopefully you will hear off me again this week because I've got a Blood Bowl video this week to put up and I've got think any other AOS content that we got to look forward to hopefully we'll get more information about this box set or any you know possible <coughs> Sylvaneth Endless Spells because I got a guess that that's coming but until then guys I shall see you in the next video this is Jay signing out <laughs>